explain about culture and motivation factors that we have chosen in Lion Royal Hotel Group at Kerala. If I say a basic introduction of the hotel, there are 15 hotels situated around Sri Lanka. Coco Royal Beach Hotel is one of their main hotels of their hotel group at Kerala. Coco Royal Beach, sorry. Over 20 years ago, Hotel group founder is Mr. Nalim Vikramasinghe. Mainly they target foreign customers, but they give their services to local customers too. They have 100 employees work at 5 departments. Their monthly income is more than 1.5 million for non-seasonal failure. For seasonal failure, more than that. Their mission is recognized as unique in the industry for fulfilling their promise. Their guests became friends. Their mission is, they are the preferred destination of choice offering professional, flexible hospitality and service to the discerning business and leisure market. I am going to introduce members of this program. This is Mr. Char Kairan who will be the junior consultant of this program. And this is Mr. Malan Tisanayakam who will be the consultant, junior consultant of this program. And I am Ms. Yamushka, I will be the moderator of this program. Good morning, Mr. Charakayan and Mr. Malanthi. Good morning, Mr. As a very beginning of this forum, I like to ask my first question from Mr. Charakayan. Okay, Mr. Charakayan, tell what is the meaning of culture regarding hotel industry? Yes, Yamushka. Actually, uh, when I talk about the culture, there is a personality of uh, hotel industry or whatever industry. So. Basic, if I talk about the basic definition of uh, hotel, so there is a compromise, uh, assumptions, values, norm of uh, employees and their behaviors. So, when I talk about, there are different types of cultures can be seen in the world. So, some of them are such as uh, assumptions, uh, uh, cultures and uh, academic cultures and as well as uh, uh, club cultures. Likewise, many cultures you can see in the industries. So, basically, uh, but hotel culture is uh, very much different compared to other cultures because uh, every cultures they have working environment but pub cultures and hotel cultures is not that like that that is basically depend on uh, freedoms of the humans and as well as happiness so just imagine uh, i hope the basic idea is you got uh, what is the culture it means yeah. okay thank you mr chandra and the next question, I, I, I would like to turn to Mr. Mahler. What is the meaning of motivation regarding hotel industry? Yes, Yanushka. When we talk about motivation, there are a lot of uh, definitions for motivation. So I will explain one uh, definition of motivation. So motivation is the process that account and individual direction to uh, attaining a goal. So when we talk about it in the hotel industry, their are employees work 24 hours continually. So they need motivation. And uh, some employees work 9 hours. So some employees work night shifts. So and some employees work day shifts. So they need uh, motivation. We as a management, we should give motivation. So as a one type, I will explain uh, motivation type. So I will de divide as a one, two types. Uh, one part is uh, intrinsic, other part is extrinsic. As a one uh, intrinsic, so it is uh, self-generated motivation. So it is the uh, employee get self motivation. But extrinsic motivation we should give as a management to, to uh, employees. Uh, as a examples, uh, we should give bonuses and uh, encouragements and uh, like gifts to uh, uh, employees. Like this, uh, we can give as a motivation. So when we give this kind of motivation things, uh, like uh, employees get like got uh, benefits for the industry. So I think I have given the answer to this question. Okay, Mr. Malan, it was a nice explanation. My next question I will ask from Mr. Charaka because who has a good knowledge about culture environment, about hotel industry. He has many years working experience with that. According to that benefit, I like to share his knowledge with us. Mr. Chal, tell how power impacts the culture in order Yes, Yanushka. Basically, uh, when we talk about powers, so there are many different types of powers can we see in this industry, such as uh, 
legitimate powers, expert powers, cohency powers, I think you guys also know about that. So, uh, when I talk about uh, the hotel environment, so this power is very much impact uh, for hotel cultures too, because just imagine, uh, when we talk about uh, the hotel management is the people who design the dress code of hotels. There are five departments of hotels. I think you guys also know. So as a question, I like to ask all of you, what is the department of hotels? Somebody can stand up and give me the answer. Anybody is here? Can you repeat the question please? Yeah. Hotel has uh, many departments, you know? Yeah. So what is the department of uh, hotel's main departments? Main departments? Yeah. Yeah, the front line. Front, line. front office, yeah. Yes, basically. 
when we talk about the politics, there are two different types of politics we can see in the world. The one, one thing is local politics, other thing is organizational politics. That is different compared to local politics. Organizational politics in the sense, uh, use of power within the organization to changes, uh, access their changes. That is the basic uh, definitions of politics. So, uh, because of the politics, mean there are many consequences happen within the organization, such as asking and blaming, uh, attacking and blaming, and uh, controlling uh, information and uh, uh, create uh, obligations and uh, uh, cultivating ethics. So those are the, the main consequences happen because of the politics. As an example, according to my experience, I can say uh, one of the GMs there, uh, who is the uh, who has a good more than 20 years experience in the hotel industry, but who don't have good academic qualifications. So, but who has created some kind of good relationship between owners? Because of that, he got the GM position. So see, according to that scenario, how politics is in that. Because of the relationship, he got the GM position. So how politics is impact to that hotel culture. So according to that example, I think you guys are very clear. So how this politics is impact for the hotel industry? Yeah. Okay, thank you, Mr. Charuka. As my next question, I like come to to Mr. Malan, who was expert knowledge about human resource management in the hotel industry. He has many years of working experience. Okay, Mr. Malan, tell how politics impact to motivation in hotel industry. Yeah, uh, we will see here uh, what is the mo uh, politics uh, first of all. So politics, we can see power and social networking come to the organizational uh, achieve benefits and targets. So when we talk, talk about politics in the hotel industry, uh, they can share a lot of wrong information because of politics. So when, when there, there is a problem, uh, employees get demotivated. So I will get some uh, example from uh, Chavaka said, he said uh, about that uh, GM problem. I will uh, take that example to my uh, that question. So that GM came to the position with uh, relationship with uh, that owner. So it is the politics. So there are, there are a lot of uh, with educational and skillful employees in the hotel. So they, they get so demotivated at this situation because, because of that quality. So that, that situation, uh, problems will uh, increase in the hotel. So it will affect to the profits and organizational uh, hotels performance. So I can apply uh, goal setting theory for this uh, problem. Because of that, uh, when their management can uh, use this theory, uh, they can find uh, two, three employees with the skill pool and they can give to set the goal and uh, target then some employees can achieve that target and get that higher policy position like GM, not politics. Uh, that is uh, very important when we talk about motivation. So uh, otherwise, uh, employees get demotivated because of this situation. So I, I have given this answer. Thank you, Mr. Malan. That was a nice explanation. And we learned many things regarding the motivation. As my next question, I'd like to ask from Mr. Charuka. What are the advantages and disadvantages which impact hotel industry because of the power? Yeah. Actually, that is very much basic questions, uh, Mr. Uh, before I give you the answer for that questions, I like to uh, give you guys for that questions to answer. So anybody has an idea about what are the advantages and disadvantages how in, which is impact for the organization where because of the power. That is a very much uh, easy question. And uh, if you guys think in good way, you can give the answer for that. That is very much simple. Yeah. Anybody is here? Five minutes, okay, no problem. Okay, actually, uh, when you talk about the advantages, guys, because of the power, just think about uh, if the if management have powers, that is very much easy to direct employees to the, their missions and missions. You know, every organization has a mission with the state and mission with state, and as well as a goal set. Some organization have a one, two, three, four, likewise, many goal sets. So, 
they still imagine if their hotel management have very much power, that is very much easy to achieve their goals because employees already try to achieve their goals because of the management power. And as well as some other advantages also there, uh, that is uh, every organization is expect profit maximum. That is also they can easily as achieve uh, when they uh, management have uh, power. Then the disadvantage is here. Some management uh, uh, organizations there, they have, they, are, they don't much ethical. So in that times, that what happened, if they too much have management, then what happened? Uh, the employee getting demotivated because of unethical situation, because of the employee management and the unethical situation. And as well as, uh, sometimes, every decision is looking from the management. In that time, uh, employees don't have chance to say their opinions to management, then what happened? Again, they would be demotivated. So that is the basic advantages and disadvantages which impact for uh, hotel industry and as well as other organizations too. Thank you, Mr. Charpa. As my final question today to Mr. Malan, brief the advantages and disadvantages which impact hotel industry because of the politics. Yeah, when you talk about politics in the hotel industry, uh, there you can see some, uh, it is a, like a terrible thing in the hotel. So, with, with, but uh, there, there are, can see advantages also. Uh, when, uh, when, when management work, uh, like they, they, they have politics, they do, uh, do the things right time. So, when they do like this, uh, employees get uh, like motivation and they go get um, responsibilities also. And they do uh, creativity things also. So some, when they have some problems also, they, they face very uh, confidently. And uh, when we talk about disadvantages, uh, management give some, sometimes pressure in politics. So then uh, employees get demotivated when they have like this pressure in politics. So they get stress also. And uh, I said earlier, they are going to share, share uh, wrong information. They, when they when they are uh, share wrong information, uh, employees also can be motivated. So I, I think I have given the disadvantages and advantages for politics. Thank you, Mr. Bala. Before conclude this forum, both you have any message or suggestions regarding the topic to our audience? Yeah. Uh, in this forum, uh, as conclusion, uh, we think uh, about culture and motivation uh, in the hotel industry. So after we discuss about how uh, politics and power impact in the hotel industry, so we finally uh, discussed about advantages and disadvantages, disadvantages of uh, power and uh, politics. So I think uh, we have done uh, good thing about uh, this topic. Okay, Mr. Martin, you have yeah. Actually, Anushka, uh, as a recommendation, my dear brothers and sisters, I would like to talk about the emotional intelligence. That is very much famous topic in the world. Uh, one day you guys also come to our positions. So then, emotional intelligence is very much useful topic to your life and as well as organization behaviors. So, just emotional intelligence basic definition is actually how you manage your emotionally intelligent in a positive way. So, if you practice this one day, it's definitely you will become as a, a good question uh, in the world. So, uh, as the end of this forum, uh, I like to say some sentences you guys. Uh, rule your feelings before rule, uh, feelings rule you. Rule your feelings, feelings before rules you. Thank you very much. Thank you.